All right, let's go into something a little bit, a little bit more um, in depth. This is 45, I think. All right, 45, anyone done it? You've got the following function, you know? Yep. Um, it, it, it looks like you would. It looks like you would, yes. Yeah. Yeah, so, so Taylor series are a special case. Oh, so so it would be, be a Maclaurin series in this case, right? So Maclaurin series, Taylor series are a special case of power series, right? Where the derivatives in... Yep, but, but why? I mean, you don't have to do any... Like here, you don't have to do any real calculations. Okay, so... Here we've got a function... Defined like this. Now, x squared times sine of x cubed. Now, what this question is asking you is to perform an analysis on this using power series. And show that this function has a stationary point at x equals 0 and then classify the stationary point. That's what, that's what it's asking you to do. Now, sort of just intuitively, let, let, let's say this function has a stationary point at x equals 0. It has a turning point, right? Who can tell me, without doing any calculations, what the turning point should be? Without doing any calculus whatsoever. You should be able to do it. So suppose it has a, a turning point at x equals 0. What, what is the nature of the turning point? Ah, yeah. So, so here's a good... Uh, you guys probably know this from school, but let me just remind you, right? x squared is an even function, right? The sine function is an odd function. If you multiply an, an even function and an odd function, you get what's known as an odd function, right? So an odd function looks something like this. There's, it goes through the origin, and there's some, you know, if you, if you twist the graph around here 180 degrees, you get the same graph. Now, if, if this function's odd, right, and it has a turning point at 0, it's got to be a point of inflection. It's got to be a point of inflection. OK? So is that your answer? No, no, no. No. <laughs> well, well <laughs> it, it, it's my common sense answer, OK? And if it has, a, uh, I guess, a turning point now that's i mean that's that that, that that's a skill that requires no calculations that you should be able to... I mean, did you, did you, did you guys see that at school? Old and even functions? No. Okay, all right. Well, it's, it's something that's, that's gold, okay? However, let's get back to the program and see what they're, what they're trying to um, actually get us to do here. Firstly, they want us to calculate the, um, uh, the power series for sine of x and then use that to get the, the series for sine of x cubed, and then you can use that to get the series for f, right? Uh, the the uh, a power series about x equals 0. So we know. OK, so is the following. Now, can anyone remember? Bless you. Can anyone remember what values of x this is actually? When, when do you have the equality? 
Is it all values of x? It is. OK, you can use the ratio test to, to, to test, test that. So you should know, you should know these, these special expansions and their domain of definition, right? That's, that, that's something that can really do good, good things for you. So what's our series for f of x? Well, it's just we replace x with x cubed and multiply the whole thing by x squared. Interesting. Yes, you could. Yeah, that, that's yeah, interesting. Yep. So let's just fix that up, I guess. So bring the x squared in there. So what are we going to get? We're going to get something like x to the 6k plus 5. So let's just, I'm just going to write out a couple of terms of the series just to give us a bit of a, you know, a slight feel for it. All right, so that's our power series about x equals 0. Now, now the next, the next uh, <coughs> thing they want, they want you to do in this question is show that 0 is... Uh, is a stationary point, right? So, yeah. So let, 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 let's differentiate and see how it goes. Okay? So if I differentiate, say, my power, I mean, I could differentiate up here and then show that, you know, the derivative 0 at 0. But Let's just use this one. If I differentiate here, what's going to happen? The lowest power is going to be power 4, right? So, of course, it's going to be 0 at x equals 0. Right, so if I, if I just differentiate this, I'm going to get x to the power 4 in all higher order terms. And then if I sub in x equals 0, I just get 0. Right. Because we're differentiating. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so differentiating. Yep. So. Ooh. Um, I think it, I think it's from okay, from the series. How's that? <laughs> from the series in in A, okay. Because you could you could get confused with that, right? <laughs> anyway, um, all right. So the last thing is, let's classify the the this 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 point, the stationary point or turning point. Okay. Now we know <laughs> we we absolutely know that it's a point of inflection. Okay, because the f's odd. Now, if you try to go through here and take a second derivative, right, and plug in x equals zero, what are you going to get? Zero. So the second derivative test absolutely fails. Now you might think, well, let's just look at the derivative on either side of zero. Well, you've got a nasty series there, so I don't see how that's going to help you. Uh, I guess critical point so the second derivative test fails 
but f is odd. So what do I mean by odd? I mean f of x equals minus f of minus x. Okay. Okay, so when I say odd, I mean, you know, something like, oh, it's a, it's a bad picture. But the, the point here is that if you rotate the graph 180 degrees, you get the same graph. Okay, that's the, that's the basic idea.